we are finally going to start working on our injectors. Decapping, rebuilding, cleaning. So the reason why we're decapping these is because we need more fuel flow for running a turbo. When you're putting more air into your engine, you also need more fuel to mix with that air so you get much bigger explosion and a lot more horsepower. So first things first with these injectors, we've got to pull this O-ring off and this plastic cap. The easiest way to do that, if you just pinch it, it'll kind of come up like that and then you can kind of roll it off of there just like so. For this, you can use either a flathead or needle nose pliers. I'm going to opt for the needle nose pliers. You just kind of work it off of there. You don't want to damage anything. Okay, so now you can see it's got the four holes. This cap is basically pressed on there. And if you get right on the edge right here, it'll break it loose. So we're just gonna grind a little bit around the edge, just sneaking up on it to where that cap comes off. So now to do that, I've got a 13 millimeter socket attached to my quarter inch impact deal. And you don't have to go very fast, but we're gonna put this in the socket. First, we're gonna lube it up, some William David 40. So we're gonna jack up that O-ring right there. It's a pretty tight fit. If yours is too tight and you feel like you're gonna break that O-ring, then half inch is slightly bigger. So now we take it to our flap disc. And my flap disc is an old one, it's kind of dull, so you don't want a new one because it might take off too much material. So we'll hold this at about a 45 degree angle, and again, you want to sneak up on it. You notice I got my fingers on the injector because if you move it, it's too wobbly. Literally takes just a couple of seconds for that thing to fly off of there. Nice tapered edge all the way around, looks good. Now I'll just go and do all the rest of them. But you can see they're all decapped now, they got a nice little bevel to them. Here's one of the caps that came off and you can see it's just a little four hole, little deal. Now they're wide open. So I got this injector rebuild kit off Amazon and I'll put the part number and link in the description down below. It's got all the O-rings and new filters for it. So first we'll remove this upper O-ring by pinching it and rolling it, the old pinch and roll. Now we gotta get that filter out of there and to do that, we're gonna put it in our vise and if you put it on this part right here, you can use this lip right here to help hold it in the vise because you don't wanna clamp down on it. You might crack it. You can get a quarter inch screw and that's just going to grab a hold of that filter in there. Just kind of get it started and then screw it in a little bit more just to get a, a good grip on that basket. You don't have to screw in all the way. In fact, you want some room because we're going to work it out with our needle nose pliers and a hammer. Just like that. So now we'll flip this over and we're going to use this electrical connector to hold it in there. Again, you don't want to clamp down too tight because you might damage your injector. And we'll install the new filter. Just kind of pop it in there. Just give it some light taps till it starts to go in. And then to get it the rest of the way, we're gonna use a punch. Again, it doesn't take much. We just want this basket to be flush. So good hits just like that, and there you go, flush. The original O-rings that came on my injectors had the orange one on top and the black one on the bottom. And as you can see, they're different IDs. So this one is smaller than this one. In the kit, the black one matches the factory orange one and the green one matches the black one. So we're gonna install the black one on the top, the green one on the bottom. And we'll reinstall our black plastic cap. You may need to give it a couple of taps with your rubber hammer. And that injector is rebuilt. So now the next step is we're just gonna clean these. So this Allosun fuel injector tester comes with this cleaning kit and it comes with these adapters here which have two different size holes for different size injectors. So you want to lube the O-ring with some WD-40 again and it'll just slide right into the adapter piece just like that. You'll probably have to hold it on there because this is going to be under some pressure. And now we're just going to use some of this carb and choke and throttle body cleaner and you can use any of them. I just chose this one because this is what the store had. This is meant to go on here, however, if you get one where if you pull this off and it doesn't have a stem on it because the stem's part of the nozzle, it won't work. So I'm going to have to improvise. Time to do some MacGyver stuff. So I'm going to wrap this nozzle with some just regular old tape, just enough to get it to seal in that hole because this little red thing will not seal in there. 
how that seals in there. Let's give it a go. Yup, it seals. <laughs> See what I mean? You gotta hold on to that sucker. Now you never wanna run these injectors dry. So before we hook it up to our tester, we're just gonna fill it with some of this cleaner. So now we'll hook up our injector. We'll have to have a catch can for this. So I'm just gonna use our graduated cylinder. You can kind of use this to kind of smash against the edge of that. Seems like that'll hold it in there. And that's pulsing. There you go. Doesn't take much. We only pumped about, I don't know, 25 milliliters through there. But that's enough to make sure it's clean. So the next step for these injectors will be to flow test them now that we got them decapped so we can figure out if these are usable, they're gonna be within a certain parameter, and if not, then we'll figure out how to make it work from there. That's gonna to have to wait for the next episode, so make sure you subscribe. If this helped you out at all, make sure you like it. Check out the social medias down here, get yourself a t-shirt over here, and I'll see you on the next one.